was trying to draw my weapon out, but it wouldn't let me. And I'm like right there next to him. Officer darts popping caps. Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing great today. We got a cool episode for you today. Not only is it LSPDFR, but we have two brand new car packs to kind of show off for you. And it is by Jedediah. And I'm going to show you what the vehicles kind of look like. Over to the left, uh, we have fully marked uh, with light bars. And then we have some awesome liveries. And then over to the right, we've got some slick top models uh, that are more sort of a, a little bit lighter of a ghost livery, if you will. Uh, they're called a Howler Pack. It is by Jedediah. And I'll be sure to link it, everything down below in the description. Over to the left is a September release. And then over to the right is a brand new October release. And these things are simply amazing. To the front, we have 2014 Dodge Chargers. Uh, in the middle there, we have 2018 Dodge Chargers. And then over at the far end, those are FBIUs. And those are 2014 models. So I'm going to kind of show you what it looks like a little bit on the inside. Just kind of take you around a little bit. Uh, so it's look real slick in there, uh, not overly bright uh, because Jedediah really knows how to make the interiors. Uh, that way the police computers are not too bright, no matter what kind of visual settings you have installed. Yeah, but uh, over to the left, uh, once again, this is the 2014 Charger. He put some goodies in the back here for you. I just started up in the trunk on this one. So I got some stop sticks, possibly like narcotic fill tests, or actually not the evidence back boxes, but that is the yeah, evidence box. Uh, fire extinguisher, some cones, uh, pretty nice. And I do believe these are all stocked with the same thing in the back. And the FPI use over there has some things in the very back end of the actual uh, trunk there area in the back of the space. And I hope you guys uh, enjoyed today's episode, but uh, we have some new recruits here. Hey, rookies, you got your weapons. Make sure you got your weapons. Nice. Okay, how about your flashlight? You got your flashlight or baggage flashlight? Okay, good. All right, we'll make sure, just wanna make sure. Got a bunch of rookies here, guys. But I need to get me a new partner. And I'm thinking about riding out with the 14 Dodge Charger because I really love the models, to be honest. I like the 18s. I like the uh, four size model with the 14s. These things are just simply badass. Something about the 14 model versus the 18 model. But anyways, let's go ahead and grab this guy right here. He'll be my official partner. I'm going to use a different style of YouTube comment generator picker, a uh, different website, and I'm hoping it looks kind of slick on the screen. And we're going to go ahead and do the raffle right now. And let's see who this is going to be. Uh, anything goes. And let's pick this comment. His name is going to be Carmi Dard. There you go, Carmi. I will probably just call him Officer Dard is what I'm thinking. So uh, thank you there. He says, hope I'm next. There you go, man. You're next. All you have to do, guys, if you want to get in the raffle, just kind of become my next partner. That's what I need. I need uh, officer names. Uh, sometimes I run out of names, and I decided, you know what? Let's get you as a viewer involved and get you into the episodes with me and hang out with me, you know? So we're going to grab uh, Officer Dard, and he's going to go ahead and get the vehicle with me. We're going to release all these uh, officers here, fresh out of school, onto the streets of Los Santos. Damn, that sounds scary. All right, so let's go ahead and let him go. And let's get on patrol with Officer Dard. Let's go. Attention all units. A civilian requiring assistance in Mirror Park. Okay, it says a homeless person on property. Dispatch, I'll head that way. 10-4, Sam, AD-1. Okay, we're going to head over to uh, Mirror Park area, uh, which I think this vehicle looked really nice in Mirror Park, personally. And there's somebody sleeping, I think, on somebody's property. So we're going to go check that out in Mirror Park. Should be right over here to the right. But I, I really like Mirror Park area. It's fantastic over here. I did a Mirror Park police patrol, actually, with the vehicle livery and everything a long time ago. Uh, let's see here. Is it going to be right here? I do believe this is the address right there to the left. Oh, there he is. He's sleeping somewhere. Looks like he's sleeping on his yard. All right, let's get out and talk to the owner. See what's going on. Dispatch, show me 23. 
439 East Murray Drive. Copy that. Sam 81. Approach with caution. Hey, bud. Hey, Officer Dark. I uh, kind of keep an eye on him just for a second. Hey, how's it going? It's uh, Sergeant Benzo. He goes, hey, officer. The homeless uh, person sleeping in my yard. Uh, how long has he been there? Uh, about 30 minutes. All right, have you asked him to leave? Because, nah, I haven't talked to them. All right, I'll see what I can do. You want them removed from your property? He goes, yeah, thank you. Hey, bud. What you got going on? Hey, it's uh, Sergeant Benzo and Officer Dart over here. Just want to talk to you for a sec. We get up. Thank you. Man, that's a pretty good move there. It's like break dancing. I just seem slide. Hey, wake up. I need to talk to you for a minute, right? Damn it. What? Uh, you know you're on proper property, right? Yeah. What's your point? All right, the homeowner wants you to leave. Yeah, I'll leave after I'm done sleeping. Uh, no, I don't think you quite understand. It's not how it works. You're going to be leaving now, right? Uh, I'm going to give you five seconds to get the hell away from me. Or what? Huh? Or what? <laughs> the one, two... Oh shit. Oh god. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thank you, Officer Dard. Dispatch be advised. We got suspect down. Multiple GSWs. Uh, stage RA just down uh, East Murray Drive. 10 4, copy that. Hey, get gloves on right there. Yep. Get some gloves on. All right, hey, search him, search him. Make sure he doesn't have anything else on him. We're gonna render aid here in a sec. All right, he didn't have anything else on him. Dispatch requesting RA. We've got a non-responsive BMA down uh, 439 uh, East Murray Drive, multiple GSWs. We have an officer involved shooting. Ambulance. Hey, can you hear me? Uh, thank you, Officer Dart. I, I walked around like a dumbass with my hand on my weapon. I was trying to draw my weapon out, but it wouldn't let me. And I'm like right there next to him. Officer Dart's popping caps. Man, he wants to get promoted early. All right, let's see if we can render aid for this guy uh, since EMS is taking their sweet time getting over here. All right, let's see what we can do here for him. Okay, let's start doing chest compressions. Okay, he's, he's left. He's left. Got him. All right, get up here. Dispatch, be advised. Uh, let EMS know. Actually, they're on scene now. Disregard. All right, let's see if they'll tend to him. Oh, what was his name? I want to get his name real fast. Uh, let's see. I don't know if I can get his pet check real fast. Let's see if I can walk beside him and get a pet check. Return this way. Danny Jackson. That may be the paramedic I just got. Damn, man. Over. I hate when I make that mistake. Oh, you know what? I think I got it on his search. Danny Jackson, that's probably not going to be him because it looked like the paramedics date of birth. Uh, let's look up in our database. I got a cool CAD system. Check this out, guys. All right, let's look up in the database. Uh, Danny Jackson. Uh, let's see here. Let's see if it'll show. Oh, that's the paramedic. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, uh, let me see. I think I can get it through a different way. Uh, no, they can't find him in here. 
Uh, what I should have done is asked for his ID as soon as I made contact with him, but uh, he was very argumentative. So unfortunately, uh, that did not end very well. So thank you there, Officer Dart, for helping me. A little running around like a damn idiot. Dispatch, show me code 4, 10, 8. Let's see if we can get a call ID. Attention all units. Code 4, no further units required. Sam 81. This is dispatch. Requesting call ID for uh, the shooting here, 439 East Murdoff. 10 4. All right, she should be able to give that to me. Attention, you there it is. Sam. Copy. All right, let's get on out of here. So, uh, yeah, there, Officer Dard, what you do is you get an officer involved shooting. Uh, you just basically um, get the call ID and then you just walk away. That's all you do. <laughs> no, that's not what happens in real life. Citizens reporting a 415 and mission row. Oh boy, someone's. Someone's out there peeing on the ground. Dispatch, I'll head over there, code 2. Alright, they got me responding and we'll head over there. Someone, uh, public urination. So we'll head on over there and see what this is going to be all about. Okay, let's see where this guy's peeing at. Uh, is, he, is that him right there? To the left? Uh, that's him. <laughs> it's not like the dispatcher heard me say that out loud. Alright, that's him right there. Okay, so, uh, no lights uh, for this type of call. But, uh, Officer Dard, you're okay though, right? I meant to check on him earlier to make sure he wasn't shot. But he had the weapon pointed right at me. Uh, let's see here. I'll get some new gloves here. I love this little police uh, menu thing. It's nice. Get a new pair of gloves. Here, I'll take him off for now, and then I'll talk to him. He may not even be peeing. I don't know. Dispatch, show me 23. Oh, we're going to the alleyway, 209 Strawberry Avenue. All right, let's go talk to him. Sam, he's, is he peeing like right now? Oh, man. Hey, Officer Dart, he's peeing right now, guys. Hey. I'll step back over here. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, mind my own business, unlike you. Uh, you're ur urinating in public, man. Uh, that is, makes it my business, all right? Uh, in that case, uh, no one else uh, is your business? Uh, no, what? What's, what's my business, sir? This. Oh shit! <laughs> God damn it! Oh, I am really bad today, and Officer Dard is on point. I should have saw that coming. Son of a bitch! Sam eighty-one, be advised, we got another officer involved shooting. Yes, Sam eighty-one, officer involved shooting, two zero nine, stage RA, just down the street, Strawberry Avenue, northbound direction. Let me get the scene code for her first. Sir, what the hell, man? I saw, I should have saw that coming. I've been playing this mod for seven years. You think I would have seen that coming? Like, I was even hesitant. I was like, damn. Officer Dard, you may get a promotion here. I'm just saying. Hey, can you hear me? Hey, search him again. Just make sure he doesn't have anything on him. You know the drill. Now, this time we're going to get his ID. Uh, Patrick Harper. He had some fentanyl on him, guys. Fentanyl. Glad I have gloves on. Plus, he's bleeding everywhere. Dispatch requesting RA. It's going to be uh, BMA down, multiple GSWs, non responsive. Okay, now I want to uh, check him out real fast. Uh, the ambulance is right here. I don't want to touch him because if I do, uh, the ambulance will roll up on scene. They'll see me working on him, then they just leave. Don't ask me why they do that. It's stupid. 
Uh, let me see if I can get his information here. Uh, actually, I'll just get it from dispatch here. Uh, let's see. Maybe I can do this way. Dispatch requesting a 27 for Patrick Harper. Okay, no, nah, it's not going to work that way. I can just do it through CompuLite, I guess. Uh, Patrick Harper. I've never even been arrested. I'm going to let them work on him. Uh, treatment's failed. So I'm guessing CPR, yeah. It's failed. And uh, we'll set up some... Uh, I think it's going to be more of a police... I do not cross type barricades right here. We'll just make these immobile. Oh no, what is the ambulance doing? Man, I can't wait for uh, hopefully GTA 6. Um, I'm thinking, I'm going to call it right now, guys, by the way. Uh, I think it's going to be VC PDFR. VC PDFR. That's going to be, I think it's going to be like Vice City. Uh, Police Department First Response is going to be the new mod's name. Okay, hopefully you heard it here first. Remember this video, guys. Bookmark it. <laughs> Uh, let's see if I'm right. Uh, I guess we'll know in a couple of years, right? Maybe three or four years, something like that. I want to make sure they can get in here. Uh, we're going to block this off. Maybe maybe one more. I need to get that police tape reinstalled as well. It could be kind of cool. Uh, let's just turn. Uh, we'll just do one here because I want to make sure that crime scene can get in here. Dispatch requesting CSI. It's going to be a non-responsive uh, uh, DOA, 209. Uh, is that a word, non-responsive DOA? Uh, yeah, you heard me. That's like an oxymoron. Thank you, dispatch. <laughs> a non-responsive DOA. All right, guys, you heard it here first. <laughs> what the hell am I thinking today? And I think because it's not dark enough, it's not going to turn on. But uh, let's make it a little bit darker. I normally don't do this in episodes, but I thought, why not? Uh, we'll just kind of lower this back a little bit, but I guess it has to be dark enough. Okay, I just made it a little bit darker there. Uh, why is a uh, corner taking so long to get over here? I got a new corner vehicle too. I'm not sure if I'm fond of it, to be honest. Here they come. Uh, there's a way you can mess with the lights on these vehicles uh, to get them to turn on when they get out of the car or stay on. Uh, so I've got to redo that. But they're going to come over here and take some pictures of the body. Uh, there should be another one over here. Where's the other corner unit? Oh, they're taking pictures somewhere. And then uh, this is the new uh, corner vehicle right here. I'm thinking about redoing my entire corner division to make it look nicer. I haven't seen the back end yet. Oh, that's cool. I like the back end there. Uh, crime scene evidence. Nice. I do like the back end, though. It's kind of cool. I'm just going to stack the body on top of the other body. Hey, got to save the taxpayer dollars money somehow. Okay, Carmi, you want to clean up the blood over there? Uh, just kidding. You don't have to do that. Yeah, don't touch it. All right, let's see. Let's clean up these barriers real fast. And we're just going to do all barriers. Love that thing. And I guess we'll go ahead and head on out of here. Dispatch, show me code four. We're going to be back tonight. Attention all units. Code four, no further units required. Citizens report a disturbance. Mirror Park and again, huh? Mirror Park. Okay, we'll head over there. Units respond Dispatch responding good to you over there. Okay, they have uh, somebody that is aggressively panhandling over there in Mirror Park. Basically asking for money, more than likely. We get a lot of people in Los Angeles that do that. But you can't be really aggressive about it. But you're like demanding money. Okay, we are back in Mirror Park. And someone called 911 stating that someone was aggressively panhandling. And that means that they're asking for money, but more an aggressive nature. Uh, there he is right there. So I do believe that might be the color. 
Okay, let's go ahead and talk to him. Dispatch, show me 23-431 Westmere Drive. Being not flagged down by a civilian. Roger that, Sam, AD-1. Approach with caution. Hey, bud. Hey, didn't we run into you earlier? You're at that house back over there, right? The guy sleeping on your front yard. Is, is that what? Is that what you do? You just go around the neighborhood? Are you like the uh, neighborhood watch? And, uh, you know, just look for crime and stuff like that? Is that what you do? Like crime stoppers? <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. Hey, officer. This guy's been forcing people to give him money. Okay, forcing. You mean like robbing? Nah, but... He won't leave people alone until they give him money. All right. Did he uh, threaten anybody? Uh, not that I heard. Okay. Do you know where he is now? Yeah. I think he went that way and he pulled up. Del Perro Freeway. Del Perro Freeway. Okay. Thank you, sir. All right. Okay. Before I leave, uh, can I get your information real fast? Okay. Charlie Van Diesel. Van Diesel. 7-16-86. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. Dispatch, show me in route uh, towards the freeway. I'm going to try to track him down the uh, possible panhandler involved in this call here. 10 copy. Sam, AD-1. All right, he's on the freeway, so we're going to ramp this up a little bit. Uh, try to respond. If he's on the freeway, I need to get there a little faster. All right, let's get down here. I think he actually is in the freeway. Uh, let's see if I can get to him this way. Uh, I'm going to go do code 2 lighting because the traffic loves to freak out. Uh, you know what? Oh, there he is. Holy shit. Dispatch, stop all traffic. 220. East, uh, eastbound Interstate 2. Come on. What is he doing? Hey, what are you doing? Get off your damn phone. It was me. Uh, I'm just walking. Yeah, on the freeway. Okay. You've been asking people for money. I would not like to have this conversation out here, but the call is making me do that. <laughs> uh, yes. I don't have a job and I need money. Okay, but you have enough money for a cell phone. And you're just walking out here on the freeway. All right, people are saying you're forcing them uh, to give you money. Forcing? No, maybe a little pushy. All right, either way, if you say no, if they say no, you can't just keep asking them, right? Uh, you're right. I won't do it again. Uh, you're right. You won't do it again. All right. Stand by. Just, just stand by, okay? Hey, uh, Officer Dark. Put him in cuffs, man. What are you doing? Reloading. Dispatch, be advised, we got shots fired again. 220. Uh, eastbound, Poplar Street, Interstate 2. Interstate 2. Stage RA. Oh, my gosh. Dispatch is loving me tonight. He had a knife right there. Right there. Hey, I'm on my game now. Officer Dart, uh, you're a little slow there, man. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh oh, I said the S word. <laughs> All right, let's search him real fast. We're going to try to look him up in our new uh, CAD system this time. He doesn't really have anything on him. James Galliard. Dispatch requesting RA. Uh, we're going to be uh, eastbound uh, 220. Interstate 2, got a non-responsive WMA, and he's got multiple GSWs, well placed to the chest. Thank you. Reloading. All right, so I'm going to try to look him up now in our uh, new database real fast. Uh, why is it not letting me do that? Uh, let's see here, guys. I could do it this way. Dispatch requesting 27. I uh, will see. I want to get him into the database first. 
No pet found. All right, get in here. I'm gonna try to do it this way. Maybe because we are just getting his ID and his wallets, but it's not allowing me. Okay, James Galliard. All right, I'm gonna try this one more time. Let's move on James oh, Galliard. Man. Ah, damn. Game just crashed right at the very end of the episode. Ah, I hate that. Well, it happens, you know, when you get a lot of mods installed. They don't like to talk to each other very well, and it's the nature of the beast. Guys, be sure to check out Jedediah, the maker of these two car packs. Great guy. Police officer in the UK. He's got a Patreon. He's got a two-for-one special September release from last month, and then an October release, uh, which is the ghost skin deliveries. Awesome guy. Be sure to check him out. And the link will be down in the description. Thank you to my Patreons. You guys are rock stars. Cannot stress that enough. For as low as $1 a month, you can get your name floating across the screen just like these guys. And thank you to the YouTube members. You guys are simply fantastic. All the elite status members, the bros, the veterans, the members, the recruits. If you guys want to get in on that action, look at the join button down below in the, uh, the actual video you're looking at right now. And I've set it as low as possible, so be sure to check that out. And thank you guys. We'll see you in the next patrol. Stay safe. Thank you for watching Benzo's YouTube channel. Be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Benzo uploads often, so stay tuned for the next episode.